Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have missed you guys so much. How are you all? I don't think I actually got to talk to you all in my first video back for 2022 um, and I am dying to talk to you all so I just thought I would come on first before we get into the Ikea come shop with me and the mini haul um, and just have a little bit of a waffle on so if you are here just for the Ikea video feel free to skip me having um, a chat right now. So basically I just wanted to make sure everyone had a really lovely time off. Um, and a nice Christmas and a lovely new year. Obviously, if you'd seen my Christmas Day vlog we did, we had a really, really lovely Christmas. Yes, it was incredibly hard, but it was lovely. We seen lots of family, we seen lots of friends, um, and it was really nice. I personally really struggled on New Year, which I knew I would. Um, there's just something about letting go of the previous year for me. Um, 2021 will always be such a change of life year um, that I will always look back on. Not always for negatives, but positives as well. Um, it was the year I married Terry after 13 years of being together. Um, and a lot happened in 2021 and I was quite reluctant to let it go. Um, and then New Year's Day, we spent it on the beach. We went to the seaside with my auntie Tina and my uncle Mark to their caravan and we sat on the beach. The kids played bat and ball. Me and my auntie Tina shared a bottle of Moe and it was perfect. She even, bless her, got in the sea and had a swim in honour of both of our mums that have passed. Um, yeah, she, you know, I'm so proud of her for doing that. I couldn't do it. I did put my feet in and honestly, it was so painful. I wish, I, I wish now I had done it, um, but I just couldn't. It was so cold. So I take my hat off to anybody that gets in the sea on New Year's Day. I know it is a sign of good luck if you put your feet in the sea on Christmas, on New Year's Day. Um, so that's basically what we've been up to. I did take a little bit longer off of YouTube just because I really felt like I needed it. I did really struggle the two weeks before Christmas, but like I have said in my previous videos, I'm not a huge fan of Christmas um, and New Year. I never have been, which is crazy um, to think about. But yeah, I absolutely love the build up. I love as, as we go into autumn um, and winter starts to come and all the build up to Christmas I just really always feel quite sad at Christmas time I don't know what it is but um, call me crazy but I always feel a lot of empathy towards other people and I always tend to wake up and feel quite sad on Christmas day I always think about um, you know people waking up alone on Christmas children feeling unloved at Christmas, um, people waking up without their wives or husbands or in my instant waking up with a mum for the, without their mum for the first time at Christmas um, and I always feel yeah I always feel quite sad at Christmas I don't know what it is I always have um, but it is a lovely time it really is um, I'm just not the biggest fan of it um, and New Year yeah it just it just hit another level for me this year and I did really struggle with New Year but I think that was my kind of time to really focus on myself then and you know let me let me feel what I want to feel and that kind of come out New Year. I tried to make Christmas as special as I could for the kids um, and New Year I was kind I was just kind of really needed to focus on myself and take a little bit of time for myself and that's exactly what I've done. I feel great i love um to start to a new year it really is exciting i don't really like making new year's resolutions um i never really do all i try and really do is i always just try to be a better version of myself and that's that's the only thing i try and really do and i don't like to set myself goals and be disappointed if i don't reach them goals um i just always want to just try and be a better person and that 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 is probably the only goal I have and I think that's a really lovely goal for anyone to have. Um, but I've been really, really looking into like manifestation and all of that. So I'm going to share a little bit of that with you guys as well. Um, but for, yeah, for this year for me, I want to really focus on my YouTube. I want to really focus 
on my mental state i want to really just feel good and i want um to make you guys feel good i want to really focus on my channel you know it's it's like it's like a baby to me this and i really care for it now and um you know as much as i started this channel i know you guys like my home decor content my fashion my family life my vlogs um i also really want to give back and try and help you guys if i can in some way um so i'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well in a minute um but i'm really into so january for me i always think is a good time to really look after yourself lots of lay-ins lots of cozy knits and sweaters lots of warm drinks lots of relaxing hot baths i think it's a time to read a book lots of walks get out there get wrapped up get your kids wrapped up get out go for a walk in the woods or on a beach if you possibly can and really take some time to reflect and heal i always think the lead up to christmas is so hard and um there's there's always a lot going on in there there's a lot to plan a lot of stress a lot of worry um so i always think january is a really good time to focus on yourself um, as much as I know I'm a good mum, I'm a good wife, I'm a good daughter, yes that's fine but I also need to be good to myself to, to carry on being them things and I also think it's really important to look after yourself and your, your well-being as well. Um, so yeah I think January guys is a really good time to focus on yourself and be a little bit selfish, Take take that time that you need um you know have a break from social media have a break from activities or going out if you don't want to do something don't do it don't feel like you have to do anything just put yourself first and honestly i think that attracts a lot to it when you you try and change that mindset um so yeah what i wanted to really talk to you guys about is obviously i'm going to do this ikea haul and vlog today so i'm really wanting to organize my home i know i did a big organize before christmas um but then we've had a whole christmas since then <laughs> and my house i don't know about anybody else's after christmas is literally like a bomb city and there's toys everywhere and i just really i think that's also a good thing for your mental state i know it is personally for me if i feel like my house is well organized doesn't have to be neat and tidy but as long it is as it is organized um i feel a lot clearer and i feel like in my thoughts is a lot clearer um so that's what i'm going to kind of focus on in january doing a lot of home decor so i know you guys are really into that um so hopefully you'll like some of the content but i've got a lot of exciting content coming we've got spring we've got summer and we've got so much good things coming and lots of things and lots of nice content that i can create for you guys um so yeah i just want to quickly <laughs> i know i am waffling on i'm sorry guys it's because i've missed you and i've missed talking to you all and i knew we had a lot to catch up on um so yeah something i've been really really doing for the last three weeks three weeks hmm yeah but oh, also guys if you notice a little bit of difference with my lips um i've got a cold sore yes it is sore um i always get them this time of year like i say it's the time i'm quite run down in january uh, from all the christmas stress um so my lips might look a little bit swollen it is just a cold sore um so yeah something i've been doing for the last three weeks so i don't know about you but when i i didn't realize that how much you think about before you go to sleep impacts your life um, on a daily or impacts the previous day or the weeks coming after that. I didn't realise that the thoughts you go to sleep are what you attract. Um, and I don't know if I've read it or whether it's kind of come to me, I'm not sure. Um, but one evening I went to bed um, and I thought, you know, the usual things us ladies men think about um oh, what you've got to do the next day what appointment you've got to book have the kids got this sorted oh my god i've got to go here i've got to be there oh, i've got a lot of housework to do i've got a lot to do tomorrow and you kind of go to sleep on that negative anxiety um mindset i always used to as well which is crazy i always kind of like create bad scenarios that probably never will happen 
Um, you know, I think, oh God, what if this happens? And I will spend a lot of time um, thinking on a night about things that probably never happen and things that um, I'm just wasting my time thinking about because it'll never happen and things that I d can't control anyway. So one evening I decided to go to bed um, and I got in bed and usually, obviously, it's a time I always reflect. Um, I always tend to think about my mum in, in the evenings as well and yeah, it just, I always felt like I was going to sleep feeling quite sad and, and down um, and then I kind of woke up in that mindset. So I decided one evening to go to bed um, and instead of thinking of all those things, I went to sleep and I tried to make a list of everything that I was grateful for and believe me, by the time I'd finished my grateful list, um, and fell asleep it was a lot bigger than anything I was worried about so it can be anything so I'd close my eyes and I'd sit and think right um, and it can be anything anything from that day or in your life it could be oh I was so grateful that I seen that sunrise this morning I am so grateful that I have a house I am so grateful I have a roof over my head I'm so grateful for my partner I am so grateful for the health of my children. I am so grateful for the meal that I put in my tummy tonight and I was able to put in my children's tummy tonight. I am so grateful that I got some fresh air today. Um, you know, and if you are thinking on like um, the grief side, I'd, instead of worrying about things, I would say, oh, you know what? I am so grateful that I got 56 years with my mum. I am so grateful that my mum seen the birth of all my children. Um, and I was try, I, I try and do a list now and it can be honestly anything. I'm grateful for the bath I had tonight. I am grateful that I have clean running water. Some people don't have that. Um, and it can be anything. Honestly, it can be absolutely anything. You know, um, I am grateful for seeing a bird. It, it, it can be anything, honestly. Um, and I, honest, since I've been doing that, I wake up feeling so much more different because I go to bed feeling grateful for what I've got and not thinking about things that probably will never happen or trying to think of things that I will never have um, or be able to have. So yeah, I was real. I'm really trying to do that. And then also, so trying to think of everything I'm grateful for. I think that's a huge thing. Be grateful for everything that you do have because believe me, there will always be someone in the world that the life that you're living right now would be their dream life. Um, and I, I'm really trying to focus on that. And then I also try, so say if there's something I really, really would not want, but would like, to get from this year I don't know it could be anything it could be a holiday or um, this YouTube channel instead of thinking oh I'd really like this to happen picture it happening like actually live it while you're there going to sleep pretend you're in that moment and it it already has happened um, yeah, and I think it really, really is helping me. So, like, a good sentence to say, so if you don't really want to do the 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 list that I do, you could, sim if you're feeling quite tired, you could simply just say, um, tomorrow is going to be a good day. Or, I attract good things. That's all you have to say. And the more you say it, the more you attract it. Um, I hope this is making sense. This is making sense in my head, but I don't know if it's coming out right to you guys. Um, I know I am very much waffling on now. I'm on like 15 minutes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just want to see if that helps any of you guys out. Please let me know in the comments if you do that when you go to sleep. Um, and if you think that um, there's something I, el I could else be doing to help myself. Um, and let me know, obviously, if, if it does help. If you guys try it, please let me know if it makes you feel like you have a better day the day after. Um, or if you start to see things happening that you have obviously dreamt up. Um, please let me know in the comments. Um, so I am going to go now. 
Um, I've got a lot of things coming up in January, like I said. There's a lot of things I want to do, a lot of organisation, and they're the type of videos I'll probably be filming. Lots of family vlogs. We are very much approaching the one year anniversary of my mum um, in the early February, so I'm, I know that's very much weighing on my mind. Um, I don't plan on taking any time off, but if I need it, I will obviously let you guys know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to really focus on me this month um, and my house and my kids and yeah I hope you all really enjoy today's video and having me back I would love to have a chat with you all please remember to go and follow my Instagram um, and we can chat over on there so I've started to try and be a bit more present on social media um, I really did take a lot of time off this year um, I just felt like I needed it too um, so if you guys are missing me between videos head over to my Instagram channel and you will find me there um, and little snippets of my life over on there and I hope you all really enjoy today's video let's really get in to the Ikea come shop with me yesterday that we went to ikea um so this is the day after so i know you guys have seen that footage i just wanted to show you some of the things i've been doing before i show you what we picked up from um ikea so the first thing i've got in the january sales is this so i picked up this really lovely wooden um clothes area and this was from jisk um, and this was only 15 pound how lovely is that i love anything that's wood you know i do 
Um, and I've seen these go in on Zara for, I'd say, I want to say like £80. Um, so if you are after a clothes area, I know there weren't a lot of these um, in the Doncaster store. Um, but they might have them online. I'm not sure. If I can find it, I will try and tag it below. Um, but yeah, I really, really love this clothes area. So that's one of my January purchases. Um, I've also been having a nice organise. So me and Terry did this cupboard out last night. I've also been doing these cupboards out. These are new. I actually picked these up in Home Bargains. And that was a pack of three in this like really nice sagey green colour. Um, so I've been really trying to organise my cupboards. Not very exciting. <laughs> um, and then this one as well. Just little bits here and there. So I'll show you guys now what I did pick up from Ikea. So my main job for this year, or January, is this cupboard and I cannot show you in this cupboard because I'm so embarrassed it is disgusting but this is our pantry cupboard and it's also like a shoe and coat cupboard and it is so cluttered um, I really want to make this really aesthetically pleasing in here um, so I'm going to do a whole video on that so that was really like the reason behind our IKEA trip I wanted to get a lot of like cereal boxes um, and glass and like lots of things to put things inside storage solutions um so yeah i'm gonna be doing a whole film on that so i'll show you guys now what i have picked up from the ikea also guys how aesthetically pleasing is this box um so i've ordered a couple of bits from um h&m and i picked up this really lovely cream um lounge set and then this really nice knitted cardigan as well with these buttons um and then in here so because i'm having my wooden shelves done in my kitchen very soon um i've started to collect a few bits so i'll do a full video on that as well just a couple of bits to put on them shelves so i picked up this little tiny mini bowl i just thought it was so lovely um and i think it is like a rock salt bowl rock salt bowl is that what it's called um but i just thought it'd look really really lovely on my shelf so i picked that up Um i did try to get my hands on the matching mugs as well but they sold out straight away so hopefully i can get my hands on some of them um but yeah i am so into neutral at the minute obviously but i just love this kind of color so i'm honestly into all i want to do in january is be comfortable i want to be cozy a lot of knitwear a lot of cozy clothes um and beige preferably seeing as that is now like my favorite color um so i'll show you guys now what i did get from ikea so guys like i don't know if i have said but i didn't actually pick up that much in ikea um, I really struggled with organisation things. A few things I did go into store for um, were sold out. Um, but one of the things I really wanted to get was a trolley that was on wheels. Um, the one I wanted was a little bit more of a deeper um, tray. And I very much was inspired by um, Gillian Truitter's um, Instagram story. I think she had one and it was like a little caddy trolley. Um, and she had little girls pencils and all their arts and crafts stuff inside um, and currently Alexis's arts and crafts stuff literally live on one of my um, chairs in my kitchen because obviously she's not allowed pens and stuff upstairs and paint um, and every night now she is very much into her arts and crafts so I thought it would be a really good idea to kind of create that as well and put that into my pantry so she can just wheel out um, her arts and craft things as and when she wants it and she can put it away herself um, but if I didn't want to just fill it with like pens and papers and paints I could put other things on there as well if I wanted to um, so this is one of the things I picked up I think this was £19 um, and it's like a creamy whitey colour um, so that is one of the things I picked up I then picked up um two of these rope bags um one is for my utility and one is for my pantry so i'm having some little pegs put in my utility and i thought these would look really lovely on there and um, you could put like um 
any pegs or you could put whatever you wanted in these um, or you could put fruit in them if I wanted probably in my pantry um, anything really I could put the kids gloves um, and woolly hats in there um, and then the next thing I picked up was this really lovely like olive green um, basket and it's got a nice little wooden handle and I thought this would be a really lovely to put in maybe crisps we always have crisps all over the shell so I thought something deep like this would be a really good idea to put crisps in but like I said I'm going to do a whole video on that pantry once I've got um, enough storage and um, yeah show you guys what I'm going to do with that and then I also picked up these um, olive green buckets as well I thought these could be used for um, biscuits or something else that we have on our shelves um, so I picked them up I think oh this was seven pound um, these I think were five pound and I think these were one pound each or something like that um, but yeah I think that's a really nice lovely colour scheme for in there and then the next thing I picked up the boys were in desperate need of some new water bottles and some packed lunch boxes for school so we picked them up as well and I think they were about £2 each for them um, and then the only other thing we did pick up was this storage set. Alexis actually has Oliella up there. <laughs> uh, she's desperate to take this upstairs. But like I said, I needed some more toy storage for Alexis's bedroom. Because the toy she got for Christmas is just literally brimming her room. So I want to kind of do something with that. So hopefully these will look really nice. She does have white furniture in there. Um, but I really just preferred this nice wood colour. So hopefully they'll look really nice in there. You could even put labels on these if you wanted to. Um, and it'll just make it easier for her to find the toys and to put them away. So that is going to be going up in her room. I think the wooden unit was £35. Um, and then the buckets were about £5 each or something. Um, I did pick up this one as well. Silly me, I thought there was three buckets to go in here I think there was I just think I picked up two of the big ones rather than a big one a medium one and a skinny one so what I'm going to do with this one is just put it in her bottom drawer and she can put all her little lol bits in there or barbie things um, any little knickknacks that she's got um, but I couldn't get any cereal boxes I am sick of the cereals falling off my shelves and going all over the floor um so i thought it'd be a really nice idea to actually put them in some plastic containers so me and terry actually picked these up from argos and i think they were three for 12 pound um which is not a bad price i went to a few other stores to try and get my hands on these and they were more like four pound each um so yeah i think they're quite a nice price they're not really the color scheme i wanted i wanted green um but you won't see these on my really top shelves anyway um so yeah that is everything i picked up from ikea so that is the end of the video guys hopefully it weren't too long when i do come to edit this video have a great week and i will see you all on sunday goodbye everyone